Hey, it's Jake from Jersey Forge, and today I want to show you guys how to get custom uniforms in Madden. Just a couple disclaimers before starting. This is PC only version of Madden, and modding cannot be done to console. Another thing to keep in mind while designing these uniforms is that you're going to need the FIFA editor tool in order to use these in game. So if you don't yet have that installed, there are definitely tutorials online on how to install and use that. Now that we got that out of the way, it's time to hop into Jersey Forge and see what this app's about. The first thing I always like in, to do when designing uniform is choose what team I'm going to be making uniform for. So we see here I could select from all these pre-made logos. Um, I'm selecting the Jets just for the purpose of this uniform. The next thing I do is select a primary and secondary color, which can easily be swapped. Going into designing the helmet, there are some options for the logo, like making it bigger, rotating it, moving it up and down and left and right, um, just so you could recreate things like the classic Chargers helmets and uh, put your own spin on some other designs. We see I'm putting on here a camouflage texture on the helmet, which just gives it a really nice camouflage texture, and we'll see later on when we hop in game what those look like. I also threw this little green arrow on the back, it just reminded me of a little runway. And moving on to the jersey, the first thing I wanted to do was put on the NFL badge. We have other badges available in case you want to develop for like a CFL or XFL or any other of those leagues. I also threw in some custom ones. Um, as far as branding goes, there's a ton of logos to choose from. Your classic like Adidas, Nike, Under Armour, and then some throwback ones too, like Russell and Reebok. Then there's over 150 or 200 assets for jerseys available right now in this beta stage. Um, all of them you could change the color of easily, put those to the primary, secondary colors. Um, the pants have a little bit less available for them right now. They have some stripes available in those same league and branding options, um, but the stripes are a little bit less varied than the ones on the jerseys. That's something that will be addressed in future updates. And then for the numbers, there's tons of fonts to choose from, um, enough to hopefully everybody could find something that they like, but this is also something that will be added on in the future. Just more fonts, it's more fun. And then once I'm done with the jersey, I came back to the main page and just looked at it one more time before saving it. And here is that swapping the primary and secondary color in action. Um, but here I realized that you couldn't really see the logo with a green helmet. So I quickly looked at white, decided that's not what I wanted to do, so I went back to a black helmet for this. And then back on this page, another feature is if you want to change the primary or secondary color to a different color, so like changing the black to white here, it just automatically changes it. Now after saving all those, I'm going into Photoshop and just opening up the numbers. Right now the numbers aren't saving in the full area, so I'm just coming in here and making it so it takes up that full space. All you have to do is go in and resize it. It doesn't even have to be Photoshop, you can do this in like paint.net or whatever, and just go in and save it over the original. And now I'll just quickly time lapse over that happening for the rest of the numbers. This is kind of just necessary to fill up the whole jersey, just makes it pretty easy just so it looks way better in game if you do it like this, but you don't have to, it's an optional step. Alright, now we're on the next step is dealing with the helmet. So just due to some technical difficulties, there is this step that I do highly recommend to do outside of the tool. So basically, I went into the FIFA editor tool and downloaded this 49ers helmet as a DDS because it saves in the correct format um, from game, just makes it easier. So you see that this alpha layer saves from the original helmet. So the white is where the sticker is and the black is where the shell is. So this basically allows the game to decide which part of the helmet is gonna be the sticker and which is the shell. So you get those different finishes. Um, so I just went in and made the green part the sticker and everywhere else is gonna be just the shell. So that way the, the green jets and the arrow on the back will be separated from the camo texture. 
and you need the DDS plugin for Photoshop to do this. Um, yeah, so if you need any of that stuff, I'm gonna have a Discord server linked in the description, and you guys can feel free to join that and ask questions if you need help running through any of that. Now we're actually inside the FIFA editor tool. Um, I just searched up Jets because that's the team we're gonna be overriding right now. It's just, just so I could uh, sort out that stuff specifically. Now you see me here. Yeah, I'm just messing around in my files. Um, and here I found the helmet that I'm overplacing it with. And if you click off there, the A is the alpha layer. So if you click on that, it'll reveal with or without the alpha layer. And you kind of want it to be like how it is here, where the sticker is the only thing that's showing when you upload it. And now I come over to the jersey, the pants, and the socks, and kind of override all that stuff just to get it ready for uploading. Just when, there's so many files for each of these teams, so when you're going through it, just make sure you're overriding the right thing that you actually want. So the next thing is overriding the numbers. What you're going to want to do for the numbers is go to the number slices folder and find the array. Um, and make sure it's the same array as the jersey that you overwrote. So I was overwriting the green jersey, so I want to make sure I'm overwriting the green number array. And when you do this, you want to select all those numbers, one through, or zero through nine, forgive me. And uh, when you're uploading it, just press import and see now this zero shows, but it actually uploaded all the numbers and overwrote all those. Now after you've done all that, you're ready to launch into the game. So just while this is loading, I'll just talk about a little bit about some extra things you could do. Um, there's different helmet finishes and different like jersey preset options, moving the numbers, making them bigger, or smaller, and for the helmet, making it shiny or matte. Those are things I could dive into in another video. If you guys really want to see that, just let me know. But now we're in game and we could see right away that the uniforms do load. And we got some pretty sweet Jets uniforms in here. And after we get through a couple plays, or maybe just one play, we'll hop into some beauty shots of these. In the description of this video, I'm going to leave the link to Jersey Forge, and I'm also going to leave a link to the Franchise Football Community Discord server, which is where I'm hosting the beta for this. So if you have any feedback or assets you want to see in there, or logos you want to see in there, or if you find any bugs that you want to let me know about, that's the best place to reach me. This has been Jake from Jersey Forge, and hopefully I'll see you all again soon with another video.